In May of 2008, our son Pablo was diagnosed with a rare form of pediatric cancer. Within the first month of Pablo's treatment, we looked around the hospital and recognized that everybody there needed help, from the patients to the technicians to the doctors. The more we learned about kids' cancer, the more we realized that there wasn't enough money going into kids' cancer research. My name is Megan Rudebeck. I am the Communications, Social Media, and Outreach Manager for the Pablo Foundation. My name is Dustin Grant. I'm the Operations and Program Manager of Pablo. And my name is Jennifer Lafferty, and I'm the Director of Development for the Pablo Foundation. So. All right, well, welcome to Ford Focus. Thank okay. you. One of the coolest things about it is also everything that you can basically do here tactically, mm -hmm. you can do via voice command. There's two reasons why it's important to get more athletes on Team Pablo. Number one is it fundraises for the organization, it helps us keep our programs going, it helps us keep our symposium going, and it helps fund our research grants. But the other thing that's really awesome about Team Pablo is that people are taking our mission and spreading the word among their communities. So every new person that joins Team Pablo, that could be a hundred new people who know about the Pablo Foundation, it could be 500, it could be a thousand. So it's just a really exciting opportunity to get the word out about what we do. Going to the corner coffee shop with Pablo when he had no hair, no eyebrows, his skin was pale, he was very skinny. People could not bear to look at a child in that way. People would actually look away, not because they were being rude, but because it's hard for them to confront in themselves what that means. So for us, to simply uh, turn a light on and fly a flag and say, kids get cancer too, and we actually have to look at this, because when we save a kid's life, we're actually saving a lifetime.